just cleaned my office. I feel so much better in this space now that it's clean. Um, I need to go to Staples to get bubble wrap because I ran out and I got an order and I like printed out the shipping label and everything and I was getting ready to, to, um, to ship her package. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have no bubble wrap. So I need to go to Staples and do that. I have a pop-up shop today. I don't know. I'm like trying to decide if I even want to go, but knowing me, I'll probably still go. But yeah, so I'm going to go to Staples, get some bubble wrap, finish packaging this order and drop off my packages to the post office and finish, probably get ready for this pop-up. And I'll just take you guys along with me. Guys, so I made a decision. I'm not going to this pop-up. It's literally 17 degrees out. The winds are crazy. I feel like my door it was about to freaking get taken off by the wind. It's so cold. Like, no, it ain't it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it today. So I got the bubble wrap. I got the wipes. And I'm just going to Walgreens real quick to get some paper towels because I'm going to need those tomorrow because I'm going to be making product this whole weekend. This whole weekend is going to be a production weekend for me. And yeah, so I'm going to go home, pack these orders. And I'll see you guys soon. It's cold. Okay, so this was literally, as you guys saw, $29. Like, why is the whole wrap so expensive? Inflation. But eventually I want to move over to eco-friendly packaging because I don't like using so much plastic and all that stuff. It's just not good for the environment. So eventually, hopefully within the next, within the year, next year or this year, I'll be able to do that. I got these wipes and paper towels. So these are good quality. So I'll be using these tomorrow when I'm making product. So the post office closes in an hour. So it's not going to take me that long to pack her order. So she ordered two hair growth oils. So I'm going to pack that now. guys so the lighting is surprisingly decent in this section of my office so um so right now I'm actually um making my leave-in conditioner it is cooling right now 
So um, every couple hours, I'll have to keep go back and check on it. I can show you guys, but I'm gonna have to go and check on it and just keep mixing it. And then once it cools down enough, then I can like add the preservative and stuff like that. So, so it is in this bowl, it has um, aluminum foil on it. I'm just venting it because I want it to cool, but I also don't want stuff to get into it. So that's why I have it covered like this. So in a couple hours, I'll come back and mix this. <laughs> result so i'm going to be pouring this into here my hopper my liquid filling machine and then i'll let you guys watch me fill it up <laughs> Thank you. 